in high definition from WPTV, Florida's most watched television station. This is News Channel 5 at 6. And did you see him doing things to you on that video? Yes. Cops say this boy's attacker was caught on camera in the act. Tonight, we hear from the young victim and his mom only on 5. Good evening, I'm Kelly Dunn. And I'm Jim Sackett. Thank you for joining us. Tonight, News Channel 5's Danielle Dubetz tells us about the case and about the growing popularity of a tool that gives parents a second set of eyes. A teenaged boy, we'll call him A.B., takes the stand to testify against a former family friend. The boy says when he was 12, his abuser forced him into oral sex in a number of locations. Yes. Where did that take place? Anywhere in his truck, in my bedroom, in the living room where the tape was, was taken, and also in his bedroom. In court today, the state revealed how the defendant, William Romine, befriended the family soon after the boy's father had died. He showered A.B. with gifts and drove him to school. The mother became suspicious and installed a hidden camera. I never thought that I was going to uh, discover something so ugly. The abuse was caught on tape. Today, that video was shown to the jury, and it's not the only case where home cameras have caught questionable behavior or crimes. Mike Haldis sells and installs surveillance systems. Some of them look like motion detectors. This little hole right here is actually a camera that could get a complete view of a room up to about 15 by 15. He says technology is helping parents keep an eye on the home while they're away and watch what's going on over the Internet. It's much more affordable now for people to do things like nanny cams where they can keep an eye on their home with, you know, with they have a nanny or an elderly person being taken care of. Haldis says home security cameras account for about 35% of his business. As far as we know, today's case against Romine is still ongoing. Reporting live, Danielle Dubetz, WPTV News Channel 5.